Welcome back to Foxy TV episode 129. Today we are showing you two installs, two uh, very different installs. The first, an apartment in the city where Phoebe is gonna chat with the agent there um, about return on investment. And the second, 30, 40 minutes on the east side of Brisbane, uh, a four bedroom home where the owners spent some money on some minor renovations. But first we are going to answer a question um, around the topic, staging is too expensive. We received this question um, on YouTube on last week's Foxy TV episode. So um, let's go to Phoebe, not Jake, to answer the question. Okay, Phoebe, we're asking you, Jake, not you. <laughs> we, we don't want your input. No, my answer's better. So Phoebe, you had a question come through on YouTube. Um, how do you work around the, the people's objections when they say they just don't have the money to stage? All right, so there's a couple of, I guess the, the biggest point is that I would never try to convince somebody that. If they don't have the money, budget has to dictate so much of when you're getting a property in market. You can't overspend. Um, so that's primary reason number one why I wouldn't um, push somebody into it. Um, however, when I'm on site, if I'm having those conversations with someone, our um, consultations are complimentary, so these conversations do come up. However, it's a bit of a team effort between us and a real estate agent. So generally when we get in to see a vendor, they're already aware of an approximate cost that will be incurred. So they're not really getting us in without the expectation that they're gonna have to spend a minimum of $2,000, depending on the size of their property, up to seven-ish thousand, depending on how big it is, how many living spaces, if it's empty. Um, if the conversation around pricing comes up um, and they, they're worried about it, the, I will intentionally shift the focus of our conversation. So we go from focusing on money, we go on focusing from cash and dollars to value and um, return on investment for a vendor. So if I can shift um, and pivot the conversation to then have a focus that's on a positive output, I can turn about, talk about the return on investment they're gonna get as a minimum of dollar for dollar, the return that they will get um, at the end of the day. If I can talk about recent sales that we've had in the area that can give them the confidence that when I'm talking about return on investment, it does make sense, um, then that's also a really positive conversation that we can have. If I can also give examples of specific properties that I have, we have styled for the same agent in the same suburb, that had awesome outcomes, also a really good shift on the on a positive conversation shift. Um, and then to add on to it and not necessarily bring the conversation back to cash and back to dollars, but if I can focus on return on investment and then a delayed payment option, it can really help styling make sense for a vendor. And that's all of our payment strategies and all of our payment options, um, delayed options, upfront discounts, are all there to help everybody be able to afford styling. So when someone says to me they just don't have the cash there, I do as much as I, it's not about me discounting it and going, okay, well, I'm just gonna do this as cheap as I can for you. It's about me making, helping it make sense for someone. Um, so if we can delay the payment, we have credit card options there. We've got upfront payment discount. We've got our stage now pay later, which is a standard deferred 20% upfront deposit to cover insurance and delivery. And then we defer the payment for 30 days. And that just basically takes off all the heat at the start of the campaign um, so they can get their marketing, they can get everything done right, the painting, the re-carpet, they can still style, but the, the costs are pushed back a little bit. Um, and then we've got our Foxy First Class, which delays the, the payment entirely to settlement, um, and only if it sells. So we've got all these different options there available to all of our vendors to help it make sense. But I think the biggest thing I do when that conversation comes up is to shift the conversation onto a positive look talk about the return on investment, talk about your genuine belief on what we can do for the property and what we're going to bring, how many people, have, how many extra eyes we're going to get on the property, how many extra feet we're going to get through the door and how many extra offers because of the increase in competition. Using all those sort of buzzwords really helps to make it resonate and understand the value for those vendors. So, yeah. Thanks Phoebe for that. Well, part of that advice there um, at the start where we spoke to Phoebe was about um, not convincing or not having to convince or trying to convince people to, to sell who have objections. Um, one way to strengthen the argument of staging is through word of mouth and uh, examples. That segues nicely to the next part of the show where we're going to an install in the city uh, where Phoebe caught up with the agent for the property, Alex Rutherford. Street, where we've got some fantastic news. 
um, working together with Alex Rutherford again. Um, got a bit of a story to tell on this one, so I'm going to leave it with Alex, so give us the rundown. So I was invited in to have a chat to the owners and they were on the market with another agent, really struggling to get it sold. Um, they're getting offers just under a million. Um, when I came through, the, the furniture was not appropriate for the apartment. It didn't really give its best features. So I recommended that they style it and put in, um, it obviously, some slightly different um, furniture to highlight what this really had to offer. Um, and then the next call I got was um, to come and list it. That they'd done everything that I'd recommended and I discover it's Phoebe. Yeah. <laughs> Which was so cool. <laughs> So we walked on in and it was absolutely beautifully styled. It really set off the apartment. Um, we had it open, the first open home. Uh, ended up having something like, I think it was 17 or 18 groups. Um, and out of that, we ended up achieving uh, a great result and um, three offers. And the funniest story is, is the uh, same buyers that were offering previously with the other agent were actually the buyers that bought it because they could see themselves living in the property because it was actually presented really well. So, amazing result, $150,000 more. Yeah, that's awesome. Which, you, what yeah. else can we say? 100%. So it's a really amazing um, testimony, I guess, showing how living in the property for sale is different, how, how we need to market it for sale. Yeah. Um, we had a grand piano downstairs. We When we were living in here, inner city apartment, we had inner city living, we had quite a few people in here, so we had to open it up, and that's exactly what the, the styling focused on. Investment for the styling was $3,600 and they got an extra 150,000 out of it. Yeah. Going with the styling, going with the right team, shows you time and time again, everything we've been, we've been saying, so. Yeah, awesome. yeah, so really good result. So proof is in the pudding. We always recommend styling where we can, especially for something that's a little bit different. People need to see themselves living in it, uh, but amazing result. And again, kudos to you guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, we've now answered a question from YouTube. We've shown you an install in the city there and spoken about return on investment. Uh, for the final part of the show, we're taking to another install. This one very different, a four bedroom uh, home in the suburbs of Birkdale, which is about 30, 40 minutes on the east side of Brisbane. Jeunesse is there doing the install, so we're going to go and have a chat with her. We've just finished up an install in Birkdale. Um, we thought we'd take you through this one because the owners actually did a little, like quite a bit to get their house ready for sale. So we try to find line whether it's worth just styling, whether we paint, whether you change the flooring, that sort of thing. Um, and we want to show you this one because this was actually a great example of how if you redo a couple of things or fix a few things up, how it actually will that return on investment will be amazing for your end result. So the clients for today, they actually, they've redone the carpets. These house, Cody will pop in some before photos, but it was terracotta tiles. We had brick, it was dark, it was, just looked tired. So they've put a new fresh lick of paint, they've re-carpeted and they've floorboard. Um, the property and now it just it looks fresh it looks lighter and it looks beautiful so even changing up things like the pendant lighting it all just helps with this real beautiful feel um, that makes it feel really light which is what you want for sale so we've kind of played to that by bringing in we've done a little bit of coastal blues so filling in with these pendants and that sort of thing, just keeping it really, really light um, with lots of cream furniture and some oak, but then adding a little bit of color with the blues to help those photos pop. Um, but yeah, have a look around, it looks beautiful. And that concludes this week's episode of Foxy TV. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you back here next week.